My name is Ann Hobson Pilot. I was fortunate to have enjoyed a successful and rewarding career as a classical harpist, first with the Washington National Symphony for three years, and then 40 years with the Boston Symphony Orchestra, 29 of them as principal. This is a time when some of our nation has come to grips with its racist past. You may wonder what my life was like as the first African American in these two orchestras in the mid-1960s. I remember my first day on the job with the Boston Symphony. It was my first rehearsal. I arrived early to tune my harp and to warm up. An older member of the orchestra came charging up to me. I expected him to say, welcome to the orchestra, or some other polite words. Instead, he looked me right in the eyes and said, you must fry some mean chicken. For those of you who don't understand what that means, fried chicken is a mainstay in racist depictions of blacks. I thought I had arrived when I won the audition for the Boston Symphony. But with those few words, that man had tried to put me in my place. Fortunately, I have a good sense of humor, which I have used then and many other times. With Washington, there were more traditional problems with race, mainly because our tours were mostly down south. It was pretty common not to be able to eat in certain restaurants back then, but I was able to stay in the orchestra hotels. I won't say that it was easy navigating the pretty much exclusively white world of classical music back then. And I am very glad to see that world changing, if ever so slowly. Seeing the protesting in the streets for racial justice gives me some hope for the future of a better racial climate. I will be playing a beautiful piece by the Argentinian composer Astor Piazzolla called Chiquilén de Bachín. I first fell in love with this work and other works by Piazzolla after I retired from the Boston Symphony about 10 years ago. When I first heard it, it was with a singer as it was intended. I couldn't understand the words in Spanish, but I was able to find an English translation. It is a very sad and dark story about a young boy who is so poor that he eats from trash cans and has no shoes. He gets spare change by selling roses at a cafe in Buenos Aires, the Cafe Bachin. There was no arrangement for solo harp, so I asked Michael Maganuco to write one for me. Michael is a harpist as well as a composer, and he wrote this beautiful arrangement for solo harp. I think this work suits the harp very well with its warm and haunting tone. I will be using different techniques to vary the tone color, playing in the middle of the strings as usual, or lower on the strings, bell-like sounds called harmonics, and open-handed low notes on the wire strings. This is a sorrowful and meditative piece, which will hopefully provide some calm in this stressful and challenging time of the pandemic and social unrest.
Thank you.